Good morning, everyone. Today, I want to show you guys how to use the Fonto app to make a shadow layer to use and upload in Cricut Design Space. So I have the app, the Fonto app open, and we're going to start by pressing the camera button in the bottom center of our screen here. We're going to select plain image. We're going to select the white box right here on the right. And then when this screen comes up, you don't need to do anything. Just go up here to the upper right of this screen with the box with the arrow, select it and select use. So I already have it came up. I'm going to just tap on this box here and add text. Um, I already have my font selected. It's Samantha Upright, but if you want to select your font beforehand, you can or you can change it after. Just select font and scroll through. I'm just going to say hello and select done. Now, if you just wanted to have your letters all connecting, you can go ahead and save here. All you have to do is um, go to the bottom right hand of the screen here and save image and you could just upload this and have all of your letters connecting. But we are going to do a shadow layer, so we're going to keep going. So I'm going to select my text. You can change the size of your text here. You can um, select text and change, edit the text, or you can select font and change the font. It's up to you, but we are going to hit the style button here. We have it already on text. As you can see, this its text is uh, highlighted in gray. We're going to change the text to white, and we're going to click the stroke button and change that to black. So you can see up here, it's giving us a preview of what's happening. So we can use the up and down arrows over here, or we can just slide this along and give ourselves a shadow layer. We can do a nice thick one. We can do just a small thin one. It's up to you. Um, but once you're all set with what you're doing, select done. And then we're going to go to this little square with the arrow in the bottom right hand corner and save image. And we are going to now open up the Cricut Design Space app, new project. We're going to select upload and select from photo library. I'm just going to quickly, quickly grab what we made and we're going to use the remove uh, wand in the bottom left hand corner to just remove all of the white space. Okay, so that's done, quick and easy. Uh, do speckle and smooth if you need to. Click next. I'm going to save this as hello shadow layer and save. Make sure it's a cut image. And once it pops up, I'm going to select it and insert it. It's really large, so we're gonna just decrease the size here and we're gonna make this really, really simple. We are going to go to Actions and Duplicate. And Actions is still open. We're going to go over to Hide Contour and we're going to re hide just that back shadow layer. And we have this selected and we're going to go to Edit. And we're going to, now since the update, it's super easy to change your color. Just go over to this little color button next to the word Cut. Select your color and apply. Line it up, 